Hello, it's Ken. I'm here with a new Photoshop tutorial. So, I was going to make this tutorial a while ago, but then, hey, what the heck? Oh, how is that possible with 4 gigs of RAM? Okay, anyways. Okay, so I sat down to make this tutorial a while ago, and then I was like, wait, I don't know how to do this. So then I didn't make it. So sorry for the delays. But yeah, I got a great idea, and it was something like this. And then after that idea, I was like sitting down, and then I was like, hey, I don't know what to do. So yeah. Photoshop! Woo! Photoshop, Photoshop! Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy crap. So, this is what we're gonna be making, kind of. Except it's gonna be a lot better than that! That sucks, Ken! You're a failure! So yeah. Oh crap. Why did I choose about it? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so first off to start out, you go over here, click the new layer button. Ta-da! Now you have to go over to the pen tool. Pen tool. Click the, make sure it's clicked on this middle one. Then you just start going boom, 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 boom. boom. Do that a bunch until you feel good about yourself. Yeah, just do it all over the place. Everywhere. Just do it everywhere. Oh, make sure you don't do what I just did there. That's okay, we're just doing this quick. So, yeah, you do that. And now what you do is you go to the brush. And then you go to here. And for me, I'm gonna need it at 13, just because, um, yeah, I need 13, because this picture's really big. You might not need it at 13 for your picture though, but yeah. So once you have your brush size set up, like 13, what I need, but you might only need it at 5 or something. OH MY GOD! No! No! What are you doing? No, not again! Oh crap! OH MY GOODNESS! OH MY GOODNESS! Ow! Whoa! Okay, I'm back. So once you got all that done, you now go back to your... What the... Okay, you go back to your pen tool, and you right click on the top one or the bottom one and you go stroke path make sure it's on brush and stimu simulate pressure click OK and then it should change and it'd be like what how did that just happen now what you do is you right click again on the same one and delete path and then you have this and you're like that looks like crap why would I want it like that then what you do is you double click on layer one or you could right click on it and go to what are the blending options? So what you do is you have to first check outer glow and inner glow, then go to the outer glow, choose your color. I don't know. I'm gonna choose green, a nice gnarly green. And then copy those numbers, the hex code, hex, hex circular coding, and you copy them anyways. Copy like that. Okay. Then you go to inner glow, and then you paste them there. Okay, so it looks like that. And then, yeah, once you finish that, you go OK. And then you go back to, your, and then you go to your eraser. And you choose a whatever size brush you're going to need and the hardness at 0%. And then just erase all of those spots where you don't need it. Like that, unless you want them there still. But you probably won't. Yeah. I don't know when you're going to use this style, but you might use it at some point. So, yeah. Okay. Or it's just something cool to know how to do. So, once you've got that done, then you go up here to Filter, Blur, Gaijin Blur. Or you might want to choose some other kind of blur. And for me, I'm probably going to need about 5 pixels. You might need less. I think I'll go with 4. Okay. And then it gives it a blur. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. I'm actually thinking that this one might be better. Yeah, it looks like crap. Anyways, you can make it look good. Okay, good night, everybody. Have a good home. She needed to know this. I'm a PC. Yeah, right. Windows no. 7. High five. Yeah. <laughs>
No. It's okay. I found the microphone. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Nathan. Goodbye. I'll be here in a moment. Earth.